guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing my everyday um, routine. I have two. I have one that I wear um, when I have five minutes to get ready, and then I have one that I wear when I have like 20 to 30 minutes to get ready just to give my face a little extra love. Um, so I'm going to go from the first one and then just build onto it basically. I'm also going to be doing my eyebrows in this routine. I never do my eyebrows in tutorial just because it just takes me too long to do my eyebrows. Um, but when I'm on the rush, I don't do too much to them. So that's why I decided to just do them really quick. And yeah. If you guys want to see my two everyday makeup routines, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I do before doing my makeup is put on a lip moisturizer. Um, so my favorite lip moisturizer is the Jack Black Lip Balm. Um, it has shea butter and vitamin E and it also has SPF 25. So it's really, really good for the morning, um, my morning routine. Because it has a SPF, um, so it keeps my lips protected throughout the day. And then after that, before even going in with my eyebrows, because the eyebrows are usually the first thing I start with um, before my eyes and my face, I go in with my primers just so they have time to sit on my face and really sink into my face and do their job. So I use three primers. I know, I'm extra. I use the NYX Honey Do Me Up. I love this primer because it really it gets really, really tacky, so it's really good for everything to just sit on my face on top of this primer because it gets very, very tacky. And then around my mouth um, is a little bit more drier than the rest of my face, so I, I have this little sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, and I love this because it also gets tacky, but it's really, really moisturizing for around my mouth. And then my forehead... My forehead is a grease ball, so I like to use the NYX Angel Veil Oil Free Primer because it um, mattifies my forehead for me really good. So I'm just going to go in and do that. Okay, and then the next thing I'll go into is my eyebrows. So I'm going to use the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil. It's on one of their newer ones. It looks like this. And the um, pencil itself is like, like a straight line. It's not really a pencil. So I'm just going to go in with this. Oh, this is in the shade black, by the way. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill my brows in. going to clean them up with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. Um, this is my ride or die to clean up my brows. This doesn't have a brand, but it says it's just a brow pencil. I believe I got this um, at Harman Face Values. I believe it's their brand, like Face Values brand. I literally just take the brush and I get some concealer on the brush. I'm sorry, I didn't say what I was, what I did, but I just took the this um, mini Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I just blended out those areas. And then I'm just going to take the same concealer and put that on my lid and blend it out with that same blender just to conceal my eyes. Then I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder and a big fluffy brush. She's usually this Real Techniques um, big shader brush. And I'm going to pack that on my lid to set the lid. I forgot to set my brows, so what I usually do is take this e.l.f. eyebrow and um, mascara clear gel. And I'll just take the eyebrow side and I just fluff through these brows very, very gently.
So I zoomed you out just a little bit because we're going to move on to the face now. Um, so basically, um, the only two, I forgot to mention that the only two things that I switch out in my everyday routine are the concealers and the eyeshadow palettes. It depends, for the, for the concealer, it kind of depends on what mood I'm in. Um, literally, that's about it. Which one I want to use is no really big difference. If I need a little bit more coverage, if I want a little less coverage, if I want a brighter under eye, a more neutral under eye. And then the eyeshadow palettes is like how much time I have basically. So for my more toned down look, um, I will take, usually um, I will go for a more um, neutral tone concealer, not really a brightening concealer because I just want my under eyes and concealer around my mouth and then a little bit on my forehead. So I'll either go in with the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. And I'll go on top of that with this e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in light, only because this is actually really, really dark. Um, so mixing the two creates kind of the perfect shade for my face. So those are the two that I usually go in with in um, the first like natural look that I like to do, just, just concealer. So I'm just going to do that underneath my eyes, just a little... The Wet n Wild Concealer isn't too bright, but um, I want it to match my skin as much as possible so it doesn't look like I just have concealer underneath my eye and around my mouth. I'll blend it in with this crown brush. It doesn't have a name on it, it literally just says crown or a number, um, but it's just like, it's a really dense, tiny um, little brush. And then I'll take some of the Wet n Wild Concealer just because it has a little bit more coverage. And I'll go around my face on areas that I want just a tad more coverage. And then that's basically it for the first look. I don't do anything else. This is literally if I have to run out of my house in 5 minutes. Eyebrows, concealer, underneath my eyes, around my mouth, a little bit on my forehead. On my eyelids, set my eyelids because those will crease, but underneath my eyes they won't crease that bad. And if they do, I just take my finger or I travel with one of these beauty blenders. This is an Ulta. This is a Ulta beauty blender and I actually really like it. So if I just travel with this and I'll take it and just blend underneath the eyes as needed. And then if I do see a lot of, lot of creasing, I also do travel with powder. So I'll just pack it on right here and then call it a day. I forgot I always 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 spray my face down with my Pearl Essence um, Coconut Rose Water. I love the way it smells. I love what it does to my face. It doesn't really like hydrate my face even though it is a hydrating face mist. It's not like crazy hydrating. Um, it just does a really good job of making my face look really really nice. Now we're just going to build on top of this and I'm going to show you my second look that I do if I have a little bit more time in the morning or whenever I'm getting ready to get ready. So to do my second look, I do the same, um, the same two steps I do, or three steps. I do my primers, um, my three primers, my eyebrows, and then I will um, set my lids, and then I'll kind of move on to the face. But before I conceal, I usually go in with foundation, but just on the like cheeks right here, I don't put foundation anywhere else on my face because I put other products on top of those areas. So the one primer that I literally always use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer in the shade Soft Beige. This is my like number one favorite, favorite foundation. It's so lightweight and it's honestly a really, really good color shade for me. And then I'll take my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. This is my favorite beauty sponge and just press that in. And then I'll go in with a more high coverage concealer. So the ones that I usually um, go for are the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Concealer in the shade Light. Um, this one has pretty good coverage. It's just not... This is more like if I want a neutral look and I don't want to highlight it under eye, I will go for this one because this is more to my undertone. If I want full coverage and a brighter under eye, 
I will go in with the Ulta Beautiful Coverage Liquid Concealer um, that is also waterproof and I'll go into the shade Light Cool. This one I actually just purchased and I really, really like it. So I'm going to go in with this one right now and I'm just going to do a little bit. I like to build this concealer so I like to go with just a little bit at first and then I'll build it up. I'm going to go in with the Ulta Beauty Sponge. Okay, and then I'll go back into my Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil Powder and I'll just take some onto the lid. And I'll take the Tiny Beauty Blender and I'll dip it in there. And I like to start from the outer edges and then go in. And then before I set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Ulta Sculpting Stick in the shade Contour. This is my favorite, favorite cream um, contour slash bronzer. I kind of use it more as a bronzer because it's a warm tone bronzer. Like, it's not too cool tone. Um, and I really like that. So I'll just take this and I'll take my Luxie 215 brush, um, which looks like this. And I'll literally just swirl it on top. Why am I holding the freaking contour stick like that? Swirl it on top and I'll literally just pack it on. And then to set the rest of my face, I take the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Powder and this is in the shade um, Transparent. This is one of my favorites. I already hit pan on it and I don't even set like too much. I kind of just swear my brush in it. Tap the excess off. This is a Morphe M401. And I gently just pat my face. I don't even set a lot around my mouth um, just because it's so dry that I kind of just leave it. And then I'll take this elf blush brush and I will just wipe away any of that excess powder away from the areas that I so called baked and for bronzer I'm gonna go in with my physicians formula butter bronzer and to apply that I'm gonna be using this Moda Pro brush this is the uh, BMX 130 pointed brush it looks like this and just swirl it around in here. So my favorite highlighter is the Ulta Illuminating Powder in the shade Yellow Diamond. It is such a pretty, pretty shade. It's not like too bright, but it's not like too dark either. It's just so pretty. And I go in with my Zueva 129 fan brush. And then also if my collarbones are showing, I like to just pop it on my collarbones. And in this shirt, they are showing. And then what I also like to do is put it right here on this area as well. And then for my blush, I'm going to go in with the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Doo -doo, Bare Peach. I love this blush. It's so, so, so nice and it's not too pigmented. I mean, it is pigmented, but if you go in with a light hand, it's just like a perfect flush of color because I'm not really into blush like that. And I like doing it second. I want to say just because it just marries the highlight and the bronzer together. Because if I could just wear bronzer and highlight, I would. But I think the blush just gives it an extra pop. Okay, and then moving on to the eyes. Um, so the three palettes that I kind of go, like, skip around from um, are... The first one is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte um, Summer Breeze Eyeshadow Palette. I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of, like, neutral, um, warm tones. 
like these three right here are one of my are like my favorite and then this orange one is just so nice um, and it's just really really easy to get a, a nice like look out of this so if I have a little bit more time I'll jump into this one um, and another one that I like to use if I have a little bit of extra time this is my newest favorite one this is new to Essence the brand Essence it's my must-haves and the palette looks like this and then you can create your own palette so basically um, I created my own palette so I have this shade I'll link all of these down below if you guys um, want to try it out or even just like do some research on them but I really like them really nice and they also come with um, so this whole row is like face powders but I also use them as eyeshadows especially this one is my favorite to put in my crease as a transition um, so there's a bronzer or actually I think this might be a contour shade I'm not sure this is a bronzer slash contour shade and then right here we have two blushes um, this one is a satin blush and this one is a shimmery blush and then right here is actually a highlight, um, and I believe this one you can also use as a highlight, it just has like a pinkier undertone. Um, and I love this palette, it's honestly really easy to create a look out of this, especially if I have a little extra time. The palette that I use when I don't have a lot of time, this is the e.l.f. Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in the shade Rosé All Day. It's so, so pretty. This is my literal favorite crease slash transition shade ever it's just so so beautiful it's just a beautiful shade to pop right in the crease and then I kind of put this one all over the lid and if I have time I'll put this on the lower lash line and the upper lash line just really really close to smoke it out a little bit and I call it a day so those are my three favorite um, everyday eyeshadow palettes and then I have this sing this Ulta single eyeshadow in the shade silk which I love to put on my inner corners and my um, brow bone highlight just because it's so blinding and I love a blinding inner corner highlight and then if I do have time I will pop this right on the tops of my cheekbones just to give my cheekbones a, a, an extra glow just because this is literally so blinding so love that I think I'm gonna use my my must-haves um, palette just so I can show you guys the quality of the shadows because they are pretty good so the first shade I'm going to use is this one right over here. This is called Hello Sunshine. This is a bronzing shade. I'm going to take a Morphe M502 brush and dip it in there and pop that in my crease. Let me zoom you guys in <laughs> since I'm doing an eye look. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Mobby Time on a Morphe R39 brush. It's just a smaller, denser brush. And I'm going to take this and put it on my outer corners and lightly put it in the crease. And then for the lid shade, I'm going to go into um, Go Goldie, which is this one right over here. And I'm going to pop that shade on with this Lam Lancome double-sided brush. I'm going to go in to the single eyeshadow on a tinier shader brush. And before I do my lashes, I'm going to set my face and I kind of do a mixture of both the Coconut Rose Water and the NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte um, Long Lasting Spray. I like to just focus this on my like chin area. On my chin area on my forehead area just because that's where I get most um, most oily and I like to just pat that in my skin so it really just soaks in and I don't have a dots all over my face okay and last but not least mascaras so if you guys watched my other videos you know that I don't just wear one mascara I literally stack mascaras like it's my job <sighs> so sometimes I won't even do an eye look and I'll kinda just oh my god I didn't even do my lower lash line I'm insane Alright, I'm going to go into my lower lash line. I'm going to use the first shade that we use. And I'm going to use this big blender. This is a Zoeva 325 brush. Okay, so like I was saying, mascaras. So I have four mascaras here that I use all the time. So if I don't do an eye look, like if I just keep my eyes bare, I like my eyelashes to really stand out. So I'll go in with this Lancome um, Base de Mascara. Um, it's just a um, fiber mascara, so I'll go in with, 
go in with that first and then I'll go with either or so usually if I don't have any my um, any eyeshadow on I'll go in with the essence lash princess mascara just because this one does such a good job of keeping my lashes very vol voluminous and long and then if I do have like eye an eyeshadow like look going on and I don't want my lashes to stand out too too much or if I just want a quick coat or if I don't have time I'll go in with the benefit their real tinted primer this is a brown shade so I'll just go in with this really quick coat my lashes and then this black la this blink black lash primer um, I literally just use it for the wand like this is so dried out but I really like the wand to spread my lashes out and to make my lashes a little bit more voluminous so today I'm gonna go in with just the lash princess mascara And then last but not least are my lips. So the only thing that I use on my lips is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Natural. This is my favorite lip liner. Um, I literally just line my lips and fill them in just a tad and that's it. Sometimes I'll put a lip gloss on if I really, really want to. Um, my favorite one is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the shade Natural. Um, this is a really good combo. I'm actually just going to do it right now just because, like, hello. And I'll literally put it on my bottom lip in the center and just do a little smooch. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, those are my two everyday natural looks. I know the first one was really corny, but um, that is my number one look that I do, like, literally every single day. I do that for school because I have to wake up so early for school that I don't have time to do all this. I literally get ready in 10 minutes, and that's it. So I have no time to do anything extra. Um, if I do do something extra, it's this step just to give my face a little bit of bronze. But that's about it. So yes guys, thank you for watching and um, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So, yes. Primer. What? Probably chicken nuggets. Um, but this is a bronzer. Bronzer. It's just a beautiful color just to shove in, just to pop right in the shade. <sighs> Ugh, my phone died. Rude. Hello. Hi, baby. Are you still recording? I literally just finished. Oh, I'm still recording though. Oh, shit.